Hello, this is Ahabdev. In this video, I will show you how you can use poses in games of the type called visual novels, or games heavily focused in narrative scenes. This example is intended specially for small developers with a very tight budget. As we all know, traditionally these kind of games have been using 2D illustrations as their main sources for their graphics. This was always a very significant challenge to overcome if we didn't have the artistical skills to produce them ourselves or the necessary budget to outsource their production. Nevertheless, thanks to more affordable technology and assets these days, now we can also obtain very similar results with 3D objects. We can say that nowadays it all depends on which style we choose to pursue. Having said this, let me introduce the context of this example seen as the following one. We play as a schoolgirl named Berta, whose classmate, Manuela, was asked to for help in order to study for the incoming exam. Nevertheless, seems that Manuela doesn't enjoy sitting for a long time at the library that much. As you may have noticed by now, Manuela's poses are not connected inside a unique animator controller, and thus transitions are not smooth enough. Since this is just a prototype of an idea I had for some time, I didn't set it that way. Nevertheless, it could be a feasible idea to implement with a bit of planning. In any case, this way is extremely easy to apply different poses each time we choose a different dialogue route. Notice also how we have implemented different camera angles and modifications of Manuela's face blend shapes in order to make the whole scene more lively. Another trick to have in mind is to insert black screens with sound only when we want to transition between two very different poses, or just as a dramatic effect. Thanks to the use of poses applied to our 3D characters, it's easier to create more branches in our dialogue and thus adding more dialogue choices. This is a clear advantage over a more classic approach to visual novels. In fact, I believe that doing so, in the end the most important task we would have to worry about would be the story writing itself. And here ends this demonstration video. I hope it had helped you to get new ideas for your projects in a way or another. Until the next one, thank you.